I've suggested that you are what you love, but you might not love what you think. One of the remarkable things about Christian worship is it's completely honest about that reality. Every single week, the people of God are invited into the story of God in Christ. And in fact, one of the chapters of that story, if you will, one of the beats of that worship rhythm is a moment in which Christians confess the gap, the, 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 the failures between what they know they ought to love and what they've actually been doing. And so worship then is precisely this gift that the Holy Spirit gives us as a way to retrain our loves, retrain our longings, re-inhabit the story. And what's beautiful is that at the heart of it is an honesty about that, those two truths. You are what you love. You might not love what you think, but the Spirit of God is now inviting you into heart-shaping practices and rhythms that will reorient you to God's kingdom. Mm -hmm.